Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. And also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And it's a preppy streetwear brand. You guys will love it. Okay, today's episode, this is what I really was talking to you guys about. You know, I speak a lot about these issues on uh, my morning show, but I figure I'll just bring it out and just make a video for you guys. And today I'm covering fake gurus. These are people that's very, very, it's very deceptional to lure people in and use your platform or use your, your, your followers, your, just use your tricks to steal from people when it really boils down. And in this world, like I always tell you, we have good people and we have bad people. And it's sad that people are out there doing that. Now, I want to prep you guys before we go into this first clip, because this first clip explains people look up to these people and don't even know what type of people they are. And sometimes in this world, when you get to know a person, then you can have like some kind of understanding. Do you think this person will be a good fit for a friend or somebody you can see you are doing business with? Some people don't even get to know the person. And that's the problem. So take a look at this first clip and then we're going to jump right into the fake gurus. OK, so if you guys are new to the channel, you know what to do to the channel. Subscribe right now for your boy Mickey. And let's get this channel all the way up, up as we drop these jewels free. No fee. Let's get it. I have a friend that's really close with somebody that's extremely successful, like probably a billionaire. And she's like, um, I want you to meet him. Yeah. Like, I told him about you, he wants to meet you vice yeah. versa. I want you to meet him. So I'm like, all right, bet, cool. But she was like, before you meet him, I just want to give you a heads up just on like what kind of person he is. He, she's like, so he does this thing where he does background checks on anyone that get kind of like close to him. Like he get a private investigator to investigate anybody that's coming around him to get like Where'd find out what their secrets is, what their dirty is. Yeah. And she's like, not only that, like he'll probably try to get you drunk or something. He likes to drink. He'll probably try to get you to drunk to like get some dirt on you. Yeah. And I'm like, what? I'm like, why? She was like, just for leverage, just for later, like, potentially later on. She was like, this is what he does. Yeah. She was like, and not only that, she was like, every year he gives his lawyer a million dollars at the top of the year to, like, file, like, BS lawsuits on his competitors. And when she told me all this stuff, I'm like, I'm good. I don't need, I'm, no, like, no, no not to do, but I don't even want to be around somebody that's kind of trying to, like, so, yeah, do weird little shit like that. I'm, I'm cool on it. And this dude is extremely successful. So in my mind, I'm like, if he's doing it at that level, I can only imagine like his competitors or people that's similar at that level probably do similar things to that. So when you talk about warfare, that's even that's just a small example on how mess. I don't even want to say messy on how strategic shit can get. I'm curious. I'm now, before we get into this next clip, let's just take a look at all these fake gurus out here just trying to fool people and giving these these people this. It's like this one on one knowledge that's not really going to take them anywhere. And it's really spinning people and it's sad out there. But you guys got to pay attention to what's going on. And just because you don't have you might not have money now, it doesn't mean that you are lower value as a person. If you know your value, just because somebody might throw a number like 10,000, that might be a lot to you right now. But you have to really know your value to know that that person is just trying to trick you. So let's just jump in into it. Let's get it. I'm actually curious about your real estate chops. All right. So give me the formula for a cap rate. Can you define what a cap rate is? So real, let's talk about real estate for a second. Yeah, no, let's no, 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 no. Define the formula of a cap rate. Do you know what a cap rate is? Absolutely. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. Cap rate what is, is it? it's like ROI in the stock market. They call it no, cap it's rate. Not. No, it's, it's give very me the simple formula for a cap rate. All right, John, can I say one thing on real estate? Ty, you cannot teach a real estate course, and I love you, bro. Much John, John. But you cannot teach a real estate course if you can't tell me the formula of a cap who rate. Who teaches my real who teaches my real estate course, John? I don't know. Oh, you so you me? don't know. I don't watch. teach my real estate course. I interviewed so, the top real estate investors that I know. It's oh, come on. Real estate. <laughs> What's the blueprint? How can you get started? Need to stop 
I don't even say black people because it's not a black thing. It's a it's a broken poor thing. So let me let me rephrase what I'm saying. We need to stop focusing on investing and we need to get this word generational wealth out of our vocabulary because it's in us up. And it really gets on my in hip hop you'll find this a lot. Using a lot of catchphrases like culture and um, you know, like energy and things that real people really feel endeared about and things that people are doing to, you know, better themselves and they use it as like a promotional tool. My nerves, bro. Like like that might be the one of the top two things that is most irritating to me nowadays. Invest, 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 invest. And you got all these people talking about generational wealth, generational wealth, generational wealth, but they skipping the step of getting rich. How you how you supposed to accumulate wealth without no money? Oh, you can go get business funding, blah, blah, blah. It's teaching how to get business funding. You need money to pay back the business funding. I've helped people that are 90 years old. I've helped people that are 12 years old. I've even helped people from almost every niche on. Making people buy your course and then guaranteeing they'll grow by telling them that they need to post 100 videos in the next 10 days is not a strategy. It's a scam. How are you able to spot a fake guru in 2023? Well, first of all, I look for the cars they're standing in front of in the houses. Yellow Lambo City. <laughs> yeah. Five easy steps. Just yeah. a deposit of one dollar. Yeah. Houses with pillars. Yeah. yeah. If I see another, forget it. Dude. My favorite one, one of the fake gurus that I. Those Lamborghinis are so loud. I know, right? He's like, let's do this mastermind at the mansion. And he stands in front of a staircase that's, those are also key. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Look, dude, I'm richer than most people, financially richer than most people. I don't have a house with two staircases. That's a fact. Did any other investors go to InvestFest and feel like this is the worst investment they've ever made? First, we gotta go through the drip report. Went with the steel blue and gray riders, inspired by Hugh Hef. Attention to detail. You see the embroidery, EYL, we've always repped the brand. Oh, I always say without the logos, they're just bozos. Went with the presidential meteorite face. It's genius. Straight from Wakanda. Um, this is extremely important. <laughs> Color coordination is extremely important. Even my tint on my shades are blue. Tom Ford for the day. What else is there to say? Let's get it. Where are these gurus at? Where are the gurus? I ain't hear uh, see these gurus in a minute. Y'all y'all remember when gurus was taking over social media in the heat of the pandemic? I'm talking about 2020, Crazy. 2021. You don't see none of these cats no more. They was going on other podcasts, talk about what you should do. You should get into this. You should get into that. Like, you remember when everybody was trying to get you into trucking? I don't see no more trucking gurus no more. I see a lot of trucking people losing their trucks. <laughs> I talked about that last year. This mother of three, she was getting to the bag. She had her own truck and all that. But when them, you wasn't getting them runs like you once was because the economy slowing down. A lot of people ain't ordering stuff like they used to. Then you got the repairs on that truck. And just brakes alone, I know, just cost a lot to change. Just on that. She lost it. And now she damn near about to lose. Now at that time, she was on the verge of losing her home. And she got three boys. I don't know one billionaire with a course. People with actual wealth don't sell courses. There is no Elon Musk course. There's no Bill Gates course. Why would you create a funnel of more competition in your field? That doesn't make any sense. It's a money grab. They show you a nice car, show you a nice house. They're just course salesmen until we stop looking for the glitz and glamour when trying to find information. We're going to keep getting scammed. It's a lot of trends on social media that's been going viral lately on some monkey see, monkey do type shit. You know, these gurus and everybody just saying the same thing. And I'm, it's like, am I the only one that's hearing this? Like this some bull three things. One, the why am I out celebrating every weekend because I'm not a, when I'm not a millionaire yet trend. I'm seeing video after video after video 
of social media gurus telling people to not enjoy life don't do nothing be a hermit don't go out visit your family friends nothing don't do nothing until you're a millionaire when the odds of you becoming a millionaire are slim to none everybody's not going to become a millionaire and everybody don't even want to be a millionaire if everybody was a millionaire millions would be nothing it would be an equivalent of everybody having dollar bills in their pocket like they do now so that's number one number two you should be celebrating you just being alive period because life itself has no meaning it's whatever you give it so the fact that you have breath in your body and you are still alive that's enough reason to celebrate that's a fact now it's a fine line between being disciplined and having delayed gratification with your goals and not going broke to party that's something totally different that's a fact. But if you taking care of business, you working, you taking care of your family and your household, and you want to go out to have drinks with the fellas, or you want to take wifey on a date every weekend, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, what's really grinding my gears is all these content gurus and content coaches and business coaches or whatever telling you or telling their clients that they're making their content wrong. Oh, it's not the algorithm, it's your content. But then on social media, they're giving you vague reasons of why it's wrong or giving you vague solutions but not actually giving you anything has anyone ever realized this that's a fact facts facts you're listening to someone and they keep saying oh you need to change the way you're saying it okay give us an example or if you ask them for an example they don't respond a lot of these experts are saying like oh my client made two thousand dollars after working with me for three days because i changed up their structure and i had them put the problem aware content on their page and but whenever people are asking oh what do you mean by problem aware content or can you give me an example she gets it they leave them on red so problem aware content is content that speaks directly to your audience they're basically explaining the problem or pain points or struggles that they're experiencing by making this type of content you are essentially letting your audience your target audience know that you understand a problem and that you have the solution to solve it this type of content is very powerful because it resonates with your audience on a deeper level and here's your example so let's say you're a business coach so problem aware content for you guys could be an example of you sharing common mistakes or common problems that business owners face by feeling overwhelmed by all the tasks needed to be managed you could talk about how this affects your business by being burnt out or hindering growth. Then you can hint, hint being a keyword, at how your services or coaching could provide a solution to this problem. This could be like implementing systems to handle and manage the workload or teach them strategies to delegate the task. This type of content shows potential customers that you understand their struggles and positions you as a solution to their problem. So if you're tired of listening to the gurus or the experts give vague, vague solutions to your problems, feel free to, you know, message me and I can help you out. Unethical ways to make money, fake guru edition. Please don't do this, but if you want to make lots of money and don't care how, then listen in. What you're going to do is rent a Lambo for the day, get some screenshots of a Stripe account making $100,000 a month, and pay a photographer for a photo shoot for the day. Wear your best clothes, a fake watch, really go the full distance, and try to make yourself seem as rich as possible. Then you're going to put together a landing page for a mentorship program for dropshipping or some other kind of e-commerce, and start bombarding 14-year-olds with ads, telling them they can make a million dollars a year reselling fidget spinners online. The goal isn't actually to help people make any money, it's to siphon their cash away from their bank accounts and into yours. And the best part, this is a proven business model because there are literally hundreds of people doing this exactly as I said it as we speak. When y'all be on here buying those courses from like influencers saying they can teach you how to make $80 million in three days by reviewing packets of ketchup. When y'all don't make any money, why don't y'all say anything? Like, when you realize that you've gotten bamboozled, why do y'all stay quiet after that? Now, I never trusted them courses and stuff. I've always known that was a point. scam. But if I say it out loud, then I'm a hater and I'm tearing people's business down and, you know, crabs in the bucket. The man has a point. You know, when you being scammed or anything happens, don't just sit there and be quiet about anything. Being quiet in these times is not the way to go. Let people know your experience and other people can... The more you do that, 
it's a, like a review. And all the other stuff y'all like to say. So since y'all be out here buying them courses, when they don't work, y'all need to get up here and let the world know that the course, it, it was a grift. You sat up here and let the ketchup queen, the condiment countess, convince you that if you gave her $500, she could teach you how to be a multimillionaire in 12 hours. <laughs> You need to speak up. Like, where are the testimonials? Where are the live updates? Where is the catch-up content? Like, hello? Where you at? Most of them niggas are scamming. And they know that it's super attractive to you uh, to just put up 10,000 because you don't have, you know, 50, 60, 70,000 to do a deal on your own. So they put together these marketing schemes to get your money. And then you don't get no return. You get excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse after money. Focus on getting your knowledge up so you can run plays yourself. Look, like I always say, don't sell yourself short. Now, everybody needs a little more to help himself and, you know, go on. But always take note of what people present to you. If they're not truthful and they're not the type of people you can trust, there's always something behind those curtains. And even though you might just want the money and be upfront with it the what you think might be a lot now might not really be a lot in your value so learn to value yourself and don't let these fake gurus trick you into just taking your time and energy out to get them richer and richer while they be more deceptional and just play with your mind and your energy that's why I always tell you guys, be truthful and stay with the people that's giving you their honesty, giving you their humbleness, and giving you their truth. And you'll find the blessings through God by staying around the people that don't want to hurt you or deceive you. Until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.